Good evening. A day after a dramatic pursuit south of Brisbane, another dangerous driver has put countless lives at risk west of the city. For 90 minutes, the alleged car thief drove through farmland and busy roads in the Brisbane Valley. The drama unfolded with the Seven News helicopter above. It ended when a brave officer took the man down near Gatton. A final stand for freedom. He's run into a, uh, a farmyard area. Followed by a lone policeman who ran for a kilometre after a man who was possibly armed. The officer has got him down. In a terrifying moment, he tries to take the officer's weapon. <gasps> the policeman is jammed under a barbed wire fence. He shoots capsicum spray. Instead of burning, it bounces off like water. The 32-year-old man tries to drag the officer through barbs. Officer needs assistance on the ground. This guy's still struggling and through a barbed wire fence. Oh, trying, trying to grab his gun. Urgent. An hour earlier, he hammered along the wall of Wyvenhoe Dam. The driver had no idea police were waiting with stingers. Oh, we're just setting up. But it was too dangerous to spike the stolen ute with a dirt bike in the back. And it was between a truck and another vehicle. He became even more reckless. Oh, that was close. Flying through farmland, he took off over the Warrego, heading for Gatton. He drove on the wrong side of the road, narrowly avoiding several head-ons with innocent drivers. Oh. He was speeding, weaving around cars. Another ute tried to run him off the road. He became more erratic, taking the wrong side of the road on blind corners. A driver attempted to use his own car and life as a barricade. It annoyed me what he did, and I was just saying, well, mate... And it was, it was more, it was originally more just to get his um, um, rego. Another stinger attempt was foiled. The driver must have known he was trapped. He spun out on a dirt road. He just lost it on the uh, second of those uh, 90 degree bends. And nearly wiped out another car. With a busted front tyre, he crashed into a concrete culvert and took off. So he's lost, it, lost control around the corner. He's just stopped around the corner. So the officer is... Uh, is OK, he's continuing the pursuit. The sergeant chased him into bush where the alleged car thief was tasered. It all happened on 78-year-old Pam Pittman's property. Looked out the window and saw this young guy streaking up past here. What did you think? What do you want? The man was bleeding and claimed to have breathing problems. Just open your eyes for a sec. See down the driveway? Just about there. Police say before sunrise he broke into a house at Twin Waters on the Sunshine Coast while Gary Carlson's wife was sleeping. This guy just came from nowhere and he's hit me. I went to the ground and uh, I'd had everything bolted up then and he said to me, uh, if you don't, well he called me a, a bastard, he said if you... You know, he said, if you don't open up the house, he said, I'll shoot you. He left with their passports. They were due to fly to Europe this afternoon. We had three nights in Venice, so we won't be, won't be making that. Their passports were found inside the ute. The offender was taken to hospital. So was the policeman, who only returned from a five-week holiday yesterday. The police officer says he didn't think twice about chasing after a man who may be armed and prepared to shoot. The 32-year-old claims he's too unwell to be questioned. Police are still searching for the firearm he threatened to use. Erin Edwards, 7 News. A 31-year-old man has briefly...